Hello, and welcome back to My Sims 3 Alien Abduction Challenge Redux Edition. That is a mouthful. What are we doing? You're hungry. You're gonna go eat. Are you taken care of? No. Don't eat yet. Come here and take care of the Beba. Give bottle. Snuggle. And play with. Alright, so someone's reached elder status, but I did not catch who it was. So that is fine. There we go. Now you can come down here and eat. Hmm. That's a little smoother than it has been lately. So what we have going on right now is we have Arthur uh, finishing painting. She is going to get up and also need to eat. Well, actually, she's up right now. So go over here. Eating is going to be the last thing she does before school. Okay. So he's going to come down and eat, and then he can... Well, I thought it was smoother, but that, not so much. Cardio, you don't want to break sweat. Now, I need to, um, let's go to City Hall. Let's do this. So, let's take up his chances of being abducted. Okay. Let's take up his chances to, I think about 40%. Let's just see what that does for us. General. Tunable XML. Game actor systems. So we had it at 10%. So let's go up to 40. So not very high that it could happen, but it's a possibility. So let's go back to him and let's get their day. So now he can pay for just a little while longer. That was... <sighs> There'll probably be a, another driver out soon for my uh, video card and hopefully it will fix the choppiness going on in my Sims 3 because that's the only game that's having it, this issue. So Someone compared it to like tearing... Uh, like, instead of smoothly moving to a new scene, it tears, and, uh, yeah. I thought I had done something that would help it, but apparently not. I think we're gonna go ahead. Oh, he's almost done anyway. Let's let him finish, and then we'll send him to bed. We'll have him sell it, and then we'll send it to bed. So, we don't have anything to worry about as far as money. We're good. Because their bills are 300 or under, I believe. So we should still have $1,000, and I think we've already paid them. All right, and uh, so, yeah, um, we cannot build on, and we cannot get a bed. So that is the problem we face right now, is that Mars is going to be, have his birthday today, is that we can't take care of some stuff for Mars to age up. So, um, because I think most of the beds are 400, oh, okay, they had more than I thought they did. Well, and that, or this got them more than I thought it did. In that case, we might be able to do stuff for Mars, but I'm going to wait anyway. Um, I think we're going to put some baby toys out, but we're not going to worry about that until he's actually a toddler. So I'm just going to let that be what the way we handle things is once Mars is a toddler, we're going to look at what we need for him, and then once he's a child, we're going to look at what we need for him based on money. And we'll just keep trying to take care of money. So, that sounds like a plan. Now, hopefully, the audio on this is not too bad because I'm... Uh, I just finished the Sims 2 recording, so you'll notice that I said that I had to cut off because the microphone... the my headphones, wireless headphones, were about to die. They're now charging, and I believe you can't really... Um, do as much with them when they're charging. So I think the audio quality is a little worse.
Is her voice messed up again? I don't know. Now you're going to get fatigued, but are you going to get fatigued before you need to take care of any needs? That's the question. So you're going to... Do you have any friends? Yeah, you do. So talk to your friends. I don't really care if you learn fishing, but you can watch a deer because you'll probably do that on your own. One of my kids has a field trip, but I believe that's something I recorded today. So I don't think she has a field trip. Well, it doesn't matter. You have to take care of the baby. <laughs> Your job is pretty much babysitter for Arthur right now. So he needs diaper changed. Okay. And then he can go back to... Then actually I'll have him take care of his bladder down here. Oh, I'm in the stairs. I'm in the stairs. Woo. I'm not in the stairs anymore. Yay me. Okay, let's use that. Let's clean it, and then we can go back to doing this. I'm not too worried about cleaning up anything in the kitchen right now because he can do that when he's fatigued. He, he'll be the one doing that, and I'm really not worried about it. Arthur, go back to bed. Well, first of all, you need to load, and then you can go back to bed. There we go. Why did he wake you up? You're in a totally separate room. I'm confused. I don't know what, what, what's going on here. I'm confused. Okay. Go back to sleep. Now, unlike in The Sims 2, I think we've discussed this before as well. Unlike in The Sims 2, all The Sims 3 aliens that are full-blooded aliens are going to look the same. So, yeah. Sims 4, not so much, but I'm not doing a challenge with aliens for Sims 4 because... I don't really have a good way to guarantee abductions. Um, I suppose what I could do, uh, right now I have way too many videos, but my, there are, like this series and my alien, other alien series could be short-lived, it all depends. Uh, and my vampire series is going to have a definite end. So it's possible, given any number of factors, I might take on another series at some point in the future. When I do, I will see about a Sims 4 aliens here, or maybe we concentrate on how to get the aliens as well. So, like, basically what will happen is we'll concentrate on the game ways to get to the aliens, meaning the science career, meaning uh, how you can get the science career object and buy debug, meaning things like that. And I'll do a little more research into what can increase your chances. Now, your chances of a baby are low and there's no way I can up them so that's something to consider so but it is other series are a possibility in the sense that um right now I have nine and like I said the vampire series is definitely going to have a definite end that doesn't mean that I'm done with Sims 4 Vampires. Um, I've mentioned in that one that I would be interested in doing a series based on learning the vampires. So taking another main character with another objective and playing them through for a little while to see if we can get different abilities to see if the story will play out differently. Um, you know, having them not be in Forgotten Hollows to seeing what vampires in another world is like. Things like that. Or what whatever they called them in the Sims 4, I've, I think it's neighborhoods or worlds, I'm not sure, worlds, I think, but, yeah, so, oh, she's on a field trip, I wasn't crazy, get attention from, mm, that's not gonna happen, baby girl, sorry about your luck, but that's not gonna happen, your mom had reasons for what she did, and that could also be part of the series, is trying to figure out maybe why the aliens are 
into abducting the men of Sim, of the Sim world. Which other people have already done that, and they've done the very basic, which I think makes the most sense of, oh, maybe the aliens are from a planet where it's hard for them to breed, hard for them to breed, so they have to go to other planets. Um, because I know of at least two stories that I've read that have had aliens in them that have actually given some explanation as to why they think the aliens are in the Sims world. So, yeah. Not so much why, like, it's kind of interesting because they, they aren't really trying to explain why the Sim men are the only ones that can get pregnant. It's just kind of assumed that that's the way it works. So that's pretty funny. But... All of that comes to the thing of there is a chance I can do other series in the future. How soon that future is, is up for debate. You are fatigued, so good. You can take care of what you need to take care of now. I gotta... No, you're not gonna play chess. Although, eventually, that's what we're gonna concentrate on. I find that, um... If you've watched my Death Note, you know this. I find that it's good to alternate between the chess and working out. So once they're fatigued, they can uh, practice chess for a while so that they can work out. And it gives them it like... And you could get the uh, store content uh, from... We don't even get the... You get the store content uh, Sunlit Tides, which comes with a... Uh, some spa uh, sauna type items so that you can use those to not only roll back days of aging if you need help like if you were doing a challenge and the challenge allowed you to change their days most don't but if it did that would be one of the ways you could and you could actually only give them back a day or two at a time actually didn't I say I was having trouble figuring that out for what was that in Sims 4 though I can't remember. I really, I mean, I I get very attached to my Sims for the most part. And that's why... Okay, he needs a lot of attention. So come back up here. And... You're not going to play chess instead. You're gonna, why does it keep waking you up? Give bottle... No, not still candy. Snuggle and play with. So right now, Arthur is... Okay, he's fully awake. So let's just go ahead and get him something to eat then. Right now, Arthur, Arthur is kind of concentrating on... Pretty much getting his own stuff done. Like, Nick is here. I did name him Nick, right? <laughs> yeah, Nicholas. Nicholas is here, so he's really taking this opportunity to do stuff that needs to get done. To make money. To So that's why he's not been as attentive to Mars as he was to Andromeda, because he had no one to help him. And now, with, you know, knowing there are going to be more people in the house, because he realizes that, hey, I got abducted again, it could happen a third time. So I better have some money in case it does. And I'd better have some plans in case it does. So, yeah, that's where more of his concern is right now rather than, you know, being as an attentive dad as he should. So that's something that he can deal with at some point. Is, you know, trying to get... Uh, trying to work on his relationship with Andromeda and with Mars. <laughs> so, put the baby in the crib. And let's go ahead and let's have you cook something. Or, let's have you prepare the sink. If I could control the camera. Like, okay. My fail. Let me talk to you about it right now. My fail is, first of all, controlling the st stupid Sims cameras. Secondly, coming up with names for my episodes. So those are the ways in which I fail. So there you go. My own commentary on my failure. You... Uh, let's just do something simple that you can't mess up. There we go. And 
Nicholas is also taking this opportunity because he's kind of taking advantage of the fact that Arthur is taking advantage of the fact that he's there. So he's telling his parent who, you know, wants him reporting to them all the time, wants all these things done. He's telling them, well, I'm not getting a chance to. I'm having to help out. And if I look like a good guy to this guy, then that is what you're after anyway, right? So just let me do that and, you know, everything else will fall into place. And if the kids like me, if I'm nice to him and if I help them out, the kids will like me and they'll listen to me. So he's kind of playing this too because he doesn't really care about what his parent wants. And so he's just doing his own thing and taking kind of... He doesn't mind, you know, helping out with the kids because he's like, again, I pretty much don't have to do anything other than pick flowers and watch the kids for maybe an hour a day. And that's it. That's all that's expected of me, and I don't mind that. Um, okay. I forgot what his... Yeah, I made him a Scorpio. Okay. Because I'm a Scorpio, and I don't fit a lot of the cliches, but I kind of played into the cliches of the Scorpio with him. So, yeah. With his backstory. So she should be home. And she is. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm not hearing... much about her voice. I think I can turn down... Sp well, no, I'm not even going to worry about that. We'll just leave them where they are. Well, let's see. Hopefully this won't mess me up, because I really don't have time to start this game all over again. Go to here, here. I'm going to turn sound effects down to there. Alright, there we go. Okay, so that should... grab a, grab a serving. But that should help us a little bit because maybe some of the game, computer things and stuff won't be so loud now. There we go. So, what are you doing after the homework? You really don't have anything you need to care, take care of except... So, oh, heard her voice. Good, good, good. So, her voice is fine. You are okay. <laughs> Arthur is still painting. So, yeah. It is a Tuesday. I believe the bills came Yes, I believe, if I remember correctly, the bills came in the last episode and we paid them. So, yeah. You can clean up or not. I don't care. Go here and practice chess because we really need to work on that for you. Oh, I know. We need a, um... We need a desk and a computer. So... Another bed, a desk, and a computer is what we're working on. Well, and a chair, too, for the computer desk, obviously. But. And a lot of money is going to get taken up by the computer. So. All right. Is it trick or treat? No, it's winter. Was he supposed to come home with her and... Okay. I'm gonna have him go ahead and tell this kid to go home. Ask to leave because... Yeah, I know you're tired, but you're gonna go to sleep soon. Cause you're gonna get you're gonna tell this kid to go home. And yeah. Linda. Because he probably was meant to come over with her and I just lost track of him and didn't pay attention to the notice, to notification and stuff like that. This sounds like a me thing to do. Oh. 
All right, so. He's going to need attention pretty soon. So actually, I think I will let Arthur do that since he's already got a painting about... Oh, he wants to maximize his painting skills. So he... Nope. Yep. Okay, good. So, hmm. Let's just go ahead and let's let him go to bed. Oh, somebody's going to age the baby up. Yep, it's going to be him. I totally forgot that was the thing that was going to happen. So, let's get him upstairs. Now, because we've only made it 40%, I honestly don't think we're going to have an abduction tonight. Um, I really don't. So, we're not, I'm not too worried about that. But I do still want Arthur to be available and awake, just in case. So, let's check and see what's going on with you. Alright, oh, he's bald. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. So we have... Someone becoming an elder. Okay, get up. Because you're going to potty train Mars. Okay. Never mind. You're going to change Mars's diaper. Um... And feet on the floor. So, yeah. That's what you're going to do. And then you're going to go back to bed. Alright, then you're going to go back to sleep. So, let's see how quickly his social goes up. It's okay. All right. So you can get some sleep. You need to get some sleep so that you can take care of stuff in the morning. Okay. You, you don't need to go to sleep. So I'm going to get you some toys. Hopefully I won't regret opening this up because it will take a million years. Alright. Cool. So let's get you some toys. And let's get you... That's the... So... For now, we're going to let you play. And we're going to let him finish. So you did need fun at the very least, so that's good. I would have liked to have gotten you potty trained, but I think we'll be okay. So you like yellow egg rolls and RME. Purple sushi, oh, lobster, I'm sorry. And Egyptian. Random, but okay. Let's just go ahead and let's do some fast forwarding to get to 4 o'clock. Which we will stop, of course, when he's done with the painting to sell it. 
Hector has reached elder status. I think that's the third person to reach elder status. Recently. Okay, come on. You're so close. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, somebody got married. Sydney and Dennis. Good for them. So, nobody... You're gonna need to eat when you get up. Andromeda, so that's fine. Not Andromeda. Yes, Andromeda, yep. Oh, come on, Arthur. Finally. So, he has not mastered that yet. So I'm going to go ahead and have him do this. And then he can come back to painting. Alright. It doesn't look like... Oh, we, it's, a, it's only at two. I thought it was... I'd like for him to get this painting level up. Nice. We did it. We did it. Okay. So, stop that. You're probably going to paint a masterpiece. I don't really care about you. Oh, I should have given you that, but that's okay. Eat the leftovers. Mm-hmm. So we have some people, I think, a lot of relationships starting up, so that's good. Mm. <laughs> stuck aging, stuck aging, stuck aging. It's weird, Danny Cho should have aged up by now because he's been here. 20 some days. Doesn't Danny Cho start out as a child? Go over here. And just continue that for a little while. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't seem like we're going to get an abduction this time, which is fine. It, it, I didn't think we would. Go ahead, we'll get you up. You can come up here and let's see. When are you going to wake up? When you wake up, is he going to be? Not really. But you can actually take care of yourself. And by the time you get up here, he might need you. All right, so people are set to do things. Okay, nobody is really close to anything. That's fine. I'm not... Improve logic skill. She can improve her logic skill. I don't care if she does or not, honestly. So I think we're going to end it here. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Remember any baby names, uh, celestial bodies, planets, stars. I just heard a weird noise. Uh, so if any of those got suggestions, please put them in the comments. Please, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. And I want to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video.